We're starting the year in one of our absolute favorite places, Salida, Colorado. Our word for 2021 is intention, and for the month of January, we are focusing on our health and wellness. This week, we will start building better habits with our fitness routines and enjoy life in this winter wonderland. Within the month of January, um, we're looking into our health and fitness. Ash and I both are. We're taking a, a deep dive into it to try to create better habits for our health and fitness. 100 push-ups a day for the month of January. Here we go. Well, there's 25. 75 more to go. I'm gonna have to be able to do more reps at one time. But man, I'd like to get to at least where I can do four sets of 25, like pretty easily, and then eventually get to two sets of 50. But I don't know if I can do that in one month, but that's my goal. One thing I can see making it really hard to be consistent in the future is uh, when we're back in the van every day and having to do it outside or figure out how to do it in the van. Um, but right now we're at Ashley's parents' house just after the new year. But we're leaving here in a day or so. So won't be here long to enjoy the comfort of carpet. Yeah. Buddy. Lots of room to play up here. Buddy. Yeah. Enjoy Mimi and Puppy's house. Well, enjoy it, because today's the last day. Last day. All right, hey, I'm going to get the tires, okay? Okay, good All luck. Right, bye. Need an oil change too. We are planning to head back into the mountains. We've been at Ashley's parents for couple weeks through the holidays um, and it's time to get back down to Salida and start working on our property if we can get to it. Um, our snow chains are actually on the property so getting some new snow tires. We need new tires anyway so we're putting on some snow tires and we're gonna try to make our way down to the property starting tomorrow and we'll see. We'll see if we can make it. We have a there's a big switch back to get up so hopefully we haven't got too much snow and we can actually make it onto our property without getting stuck, but maybe that'll just be a whole adventure in itself. New tires, new tread, new life to the van. Nope. We're gonna go back home, get to Ashley's parents' house, and we are gonna pack the van to get ready for heading to the property. This mountain is made of, 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 of just like a bunch of rocks, but only or not. Yes! Oh man, so we didn't get stuck first of all, that's kind of exciting. Um, secondly, it's beautiful and it feels so good to be here. And thirdly, um, our contractor Scott 
came out and put a roof on our little one-room studio over here. I'm just really stoked. Uh, this, this is a good day. It's a really good day. This looks like a mess, but I think we can do it. So probably what we'll do is get everything and move it to one side and then uh, cover it with this polyethylene. Um, and then, cause I have some more of it. And then we'll do one wall, that wall, and then we'll finish the wall with shiplap everything. And then we'll come in, move everything to that wall, and then do the other side. And then I have to do the ceiling too. So, dude, I got my work cut out for me these next couple weeks. Dude, look, we just trekked up through this. I mean, this is five, six inches of snow right here. The van made it through. Are we gonna open up the camper? Yeah. I think we should. It's crazy, it's January in the Rocky Mountains and it's just beautiful. It's not even cold. So I'm definitely going on a midday hike. You, you wanna go on a hike right now? Let's go down. I wanna go down. To the south end. So, this. This is gonna be where we put our A-frame. Oh, look at that view. And then if we ever wanna build something or utilize this space in here, this can be more like, more private patio space. Yeah. On the, because the Well, then we don't have here. to take down as many trees either. This is the view from our future living room. A few videos back, I was having a crisis trying to decide what we were going to do knowing that our van is too small <laughs> for our growing family. Um, the house we wanted to build was way more than I thought it was going to be, and it was still, you know, just a two bedroom, one bath, really small house. So we decided to go with one size bigger of an A-frame, which is going to give us three bedrooms, two bathrooms, so we can have guests stay, and the kids will share, kids will share a room. Um, and then that way, we're not stuck in something that we know eventually we'll want something bigger. So we're just gonna go for the dream. And we decided we're doing it. We're moving forward with the bank. And dude, this is where we're gonna build it. Now we'll have a space for people to come and actually visit us and stay with us. And we'll be able to host people. And it's something that we really, really love doing, but we haven't been able to do for four years because we've been in a van. And so we've experienced so many people hosting us or traveling to see people and be in their homes. And and now we get to return the favor to people. And um, I just really, really can't wait. This is such a great space right here. It really is. Um, so we had this, we cleared out this space last summer during quarantine um, and we put it up for people to use on hip camp which we really love that platform. And uh, yeah, man, it was a great time, but you know, neighbors and stuff. And so that was fun while it lasted. Um, but Ashley's parents just got a nice like 30 foot long RV and they're gonna put it in here for now. Um, and it just has like, dude, an incredible view. Look at the view behind. I hear a dog. Hey buddy. Hey Ruth. It's so nice because he can just run around and be wherever. He's been missing. Out. Really nice book.
<laughs> oh, that's funny. 2020 was a hard year for a lot of people, so. I come into the peace of wild things. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free. <laughs> I mean, I just keep the cold out, keep the warm in. Ugh. Those are not baby proof reflectors. I've been doing these morning fasted walks for a couple of years now and though there's so many amazing benefits to you know morning fasted cardio of some kind um, my favorite part about these is that you know living in a home that's on wheels you open the door and every day you could be going on a little hike exploring a brand new place and so granted sometimes you know, you're in a Walmart parking lot, but you know, days like today, I mean, this is freaking beautiful. Can't get much better than this. I also do these walks on my own each day because it kind of gives me you know, time in the morning to clear my head and just start the day kind of more peacefully because um, obviously with once the kids are awake, it's like a madhouse in the van sometimes. So being able to just get out, I mean, I don't, I don't even bring Beirut with me because I like just having that space to just not have my attention distracted and it's really like therapeutic and meditative for me. So it's good for my physical health, but also definitely good for my mental health as well. So we are making this back wall an accent wall and we're gonna change it up a little bit compared to the rest of the walls in here. So whenever people walk in, it's a little different. This is where our studio desk will go. So what we're gonna do is regular pine shiplap from the top all the way down to about four feet high or so. And then from there down, we're gonna have like a Japanese